really sure if I was ever going to talk about the situation revolving around George not found and Katie Bugs again just because I thought it was all done and over with. I thought that people were in agreement that because George had admitted that he did touch her, in what way did he touch her? We weren't really entirely too sure until Katie had confirmed that he apparently touched her around her chest and breast area. So it was like, that was done and done, right? I thought we were all like, I'm talking about a situation. I thought that it was just... I thought it was done. I didn't I didn't think and see any reason to actually end up talking about it in another video, but now with some new information that has come out recently because of Turkey Tom and a couple other people in the community, I felt like that I needed to say something about it just because of my last video and talking about the situation. And yeah, dude, this is the video. So basically, to give a little bit of a quick TLDR, last year, I believe, Katie Bugs and a couple of her friends went into a hotel room with Dream and George Not Found, the two of them were hanging around with the girls, you know, they were just drinking and laughing, partying, you know, all the usual stuff that you would usually do in a hotel room, usually when you're hanging around with a bunch of people, just partying and hanging out, especially at VidCon. Apparently, uh, on that night, Katie Bugs and George Not Found were very intimate with one another, they were very physical with one another, they were cuddling up with one another for apparently hours on end, being very forthcoming with one another, they would get a little bit physical and a little bit intimate, but nothing too substantial but rather in regards of what anything happened that night ultimately the two of them went on and they did their own separate things and so recently after Shelby came out about her experiences with the Wilbur suit allegations that are now basically true if you didn't see my video talking about it go ahead and check it out Katie Bugs decided to come out with her own story in which she talks about how she felt like she was very forced to be there and that George was, was being very uh, physical with her without her consent and this and that and yada yada and afterwards when she came out with her story people immediately believed her especially people on twitter if you're ever on there because of course they just immediately believe someone that doesn't really show any evidence because the only thing that we could have gone off of from the first live stream that she put out where she talks about the situation is just her word she doesn't show any evidence and it's basically just her sitting in front of a camera reading off of a script because she wrote one out and then her crying a bunch so there really wasn't much to go off of George makes a response video and he talks about how a lot of the things that she said just wasn't true and that this, this, and this happened and he makes it very clear that they were actually very comfortable with one, with one another for a while and he was very surprised that she actually felt this way about him and just never said anything about it. Ultimately, she makes a response with some receipts and some other information. Some of it ends up being not very truthful because she shows a screenshot that apparently came from one of George Not Found's friends, but then that friend was in the future response video that George would end up making, and he says that he never sent that text message. So whether in regards to that was somebody else, or that message didn't end up even existing in the first place, is probably speculation. But I'm gonna go ahead and just have to say that it's probably not real because of some stuff that just came out recently over the past couple of days, and it's in regards to the fact that Katie privated her Instagram, privated her Twitter account, and both live streams of her talking about the situation are now completely private or completely deleted and yeah i'm looking at her twitch channel right now and those live streams of her talking about the situation they are no longer there checked her instagram and it's no longer uh, public it is now private looking at her twitter account right now and it's protected which means that it's privated and yeah just I was very surprised by this because I I hadn't even noticed that this actually happened. I wasn't notified about this until a friend of mine who has been kind of keeping up with the situation as well. He knows who he is if he's watching this. I was very surprised when he showed me the screenshots and he showed me uh, like Turkey Tom's Twitter and also lyrics. He also made a tweet about talking about it because he also made like a huge video explaining the situation and why he thinks that Katie was lying the whole time and why or she was like hiding information and stuff like that. And yeah, after my video came out and more responses just came out for the both of them i thought some stuff was a bit inconsistent and pretty suspicious because it just it kind of came off as katie constantly hiding information or just changing the story and i didn't like how her friends were so heavily involved in the situation and how they made this, the whole thing even more con confusing to begin with because they were leaving out bits, bits and pieces of information like like the fact that katie was apparently touched on her breast read right that she was groped around her chest and she doesn't mention that in her first statement. She doesn't mention that in her response to George's response to the allegations that, that she made. And she only waits until like the very last minute and when she's like, oh yeah, after this, I'm done talking about the situation. It's like, only then does she actually decide to go ahead and talk about it, which I found to be very weird. It's like, why was, why was that not the first thing that you decided to go ahead and bring up? But whatever. 
give her the benefit of the doubt. That's what I decided to do. You know, he admitted to touching her and, you know, it's entirely possible because the both of them and everyone in that room were completely drunk. It could have potentially happened. But now with the deletion of the live streams and her privating her Instagram and her Twitter, I don't know if I can honestly believe her anymore at this point. I don't know if she's been, like, doxxed and she's trying to, like, protect herself for whatever reason or if she got hit with a lawsuit from George Not Found and his, like, lawyers and she's trying to get rid of evidence or for whatever reason or if she just outright just is admitting through the, the deletion of her live streams that she just made the whole thing up and she she tried to make him look bad i don't know i'm, I'm i honestly wanted to wait for someone to make a response to this or for like george and found to make another video talking about the situation and talking about this specifically before making this video but i decided to just go ahead and just make it talk about how i just don't believe katie it was already very suspicious on how she was like giving out information and the fact that she was waiting to give out certain pieces of information and just I don't believe her. I don't know I don't know if I want to believe her anymore. I can't trust her anymore. And after this, after the video comes out, after my video comes out specifically, unless something like big happens or like a big piece of information comes out and regarding one or the other person in regards to this allegation in this situation, I don't want to make another video so I'm talking about it. I'm done talking about it from here on forward. I don't believe Katie. I think she's been lying this whole time. I think she's been purposely hiding bits and pieces of information. I don't trust her. I don't believe her. And ultimately what she's just done so far is just tried to ruin the reputation of George Not Found. And in certain ways she kind of did. And she's definitely not going to be able to have an online presence on any social media website anymore because people aren't going to trust her anymore. They're going to see her as someone who lied to them about a very si serious situation that has happened to a lot of people. Ultimately, just, I don't know. I just don't know what to believe anymore at this point. I don't believe Katie. If, for whatever reason, she decides to make another video talking about this and she explains why she deleted it and she actually gives a very valid and good reason as to like why she deleted the live streams, maybe my opinions will change. But so far, just from what I'm seeing and from the only assumption that I can make up at this point, I don't believe her, I don't trust her, and I think she just tried to drag George Not Found through the mud and try to ruin his reputation, and she almost succeeded. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a really quick video talking about it, just talking about the new information that's out right now, and this is all I got, right? I don't know what else there is to say other than Katie did something really fucked up, and I hope that she has learned her lessons and never do this again, but... It's not like she's going to be able to come back online anyways, because how is she going to have an audience after this? I mean, people are going to believe her story regardless, even if she ends up admitting that she did lie, because people just hate Dream or anyone associated with Dream like that much. But anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys. In the next one, I'm out. Peace.